All right, guys, what's happening? What's up, replay viewers? Whether you're watching on Periscope or Catch, or maybe you're about to jump in the room right now with me, live from Watertown, New York. It's Wednesday night, heading into Thursday. My name's Chris Strub. This summer, last summer, geez, I gotta start getting that right. Last summer, I visited 50 states in 100 days and volunteered with, with a different youth organization in each state. 50 states, 100 days, 60 different youth organizations, and my book is now available at teamstrub.com. 50 states, 100 days, the book. And I just had this idea while I was driving home from the gym. Of course, I would never scope while driving, although I have done it, no more. Um, I would never jump on Periscope uh, or Blab or anything while driving, but I wanted to get this idea off my chest and on the record while I could. So what is it that at Baseball Hall, which is the Baseball Hall of Fame, and at, at Op Village LV, which is Opportunity Village in Las Vegas, have in common? And the answer, I won't even drag this out, the answer is that there is such a special element, there is such that that magic when you experience that place for the first time when you see it for the first time there's such that magic that you get that you you recognize in your head when you walk in there and you see it and what i found really interesting and the reason why i wanted to jump on periscope tonight and bring this up because it's so topical is that ken griffey jr who was elected almost unanimously today and we could do a whole separate scope about that about three writers who think that he's not Good enough for the Hall of Fame? I don't really know how th exactly that worked. What's up, Mark Key, Beauty? What's up, everybody joining in the room? So we're talking about what do the Baseball Hall of Fame and Opportunity Village in Las Vegas have in common? The answer is the wonderment, the excitement, just chilling. Awesome. The wonderment and the excitement of seeing them for the first time. And I don't know if you, uh, Mark Key, Beauty, have ever been to either Opportunity Village or even heard of it, or the Baseball Hall of Fame in Cooperstown, New York, which is just about two and a half hours from here. But what I found interesting about this was that Ken Griffey Jr., who was elected today to the Baseball Hall of Fame with 99% of the vote, said that he's never been in the Hall of Fame. Okay, so I checked before I went on scope. I wanted to see, wow, is the Baseball Hall of Fame on Periscope? I didn't think that they were, but it turns out they are, which is great. And they used Periscope uh, to live stream a part of their announcement tonight, which was also great. But here's what I recommend for the Baseball Hall of Fame on Periscope, okay? When Ken Griffey Jr. comes to uh, Cooperstown uh, to get inducted to the Hall of Fame, you know, uh, you know, in time for the Hall of Fame game and everything, make sure that account is running and is, and is following him along as that man gets to walk through the door of the Hall of Fame for the first time. Make sure that you can capture every moment and you can share that experience with tens of thousands, millions of viewers live that can interact and can say, wow, this is so freaking cool. Th you know, throw in their own commentary and everything while they see one of their very favorite players um, from the 90s and 2000s um, walk into the Hall of Fame for the first time. Now, what does this have to do with Opportunity Village in Las Vegas? It's the same idea. Opportunity Village in Las Vegas just closed down the Magical Forest, um, which is open during Halloween and uh, during the Christmas season. Um, it's this incredibly special experience um, that, go, that takes place, um, that raises awareness and raises money for the OVIPs and for the programming that takes place year-round um, at Opportunity Village. And uh, for me, uh, you know, representing um, all of the nonprofits, unofficially, of course, representing all of the nonprofits that I visited, including Big Brothers Big Sisters, uh, whose uh, T-shirt I am wearing tonight as I just got back from the gym, um, the opportunity to share that magical experience and introduce people um, to Opportunity Village for the first time, whereas uh, many of you, why I'm following you, cool. Whereas many of you uh, maybe have been to or at least have seen um, Cooperstown and the Hall of Fame, I've been there a couple times. Most of you have not seen Opportunity Village in Las Vegas, have not seen the Magical Forest. And so you have the opportunity to see that through the eyes of whoever's going to deliver that message to you uh, when they're there in Las Vegas. So what I want you to do is make sure um, you are following Baseball Hall. I think that's a really cool um, experience that they'll be able to share with you. And hopefully, um, by the time this replay uh, gets around, maybe someone will look back at this in the future and say, wow, you know what? Opportunity Village should be on Periscope as well because they have they also have that chance. They have that chance to share that magic with all of the viewers all around the country and all around the world live and interactively just at the touch of a button. 
Opportunity Village, Baseball Hall of Fame, two awesome places, two very magical experiences. And uh, I hope as a baseball fan and as a big time Ken Griffey Jr. fan, I get a chance to watch live, if I'm not in Cooperstown for this, which I could be, uh, to watch live as Ken Griffey Jr. gets a chance to experience bro all about ball and acting. Interesting, cool. I hope that I get a chance uh, to watch live on Periscope as Ken Griffey Jr., one of the greatest players of all time, gets a chance to walk through those doors of the Hall of Fame in Cooperstown um, in 2016. Check out teamstrub.com, 50 states, 100 days, the book. It's available now uh, on teamstrub.com. Marquee Beauty, thanks so much for watching, and uh, I will catch you. I will be streaming.